do it. Hi, my name is Rachel McDonough, and this is my friend. Hi, I'm Susanna. And we're here at the beautiful Madison Square Garden for the big fight, and you are watching True School Sports. I'm afraid of stepping to the establishment. Yeah. What you say? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree because, like, a lot of people, a lot of fighters don't are afraid to speak their mind and do what right. they feel, you know? You know. But, you know. And you, do you think, like, uh, in the Olympics, like, what happened in the Olympics, is that a part of the reason, too? Like, the Olympics? That's a big part of it. That's a big part of it. That's where it all See, starts. he knew that during the Olympics, if it wasn't for the referee, he could never be. So he knew as a professional, especially as I got the experience, and I was better. He knew he couldn't beat me, so he did whatever he could do in his power to stay away from me. And let me explain something to you. He fought everybody in my era except me. He fought Evander Holyfield three or four times. Shannon. I seen Rock Ma. Shannon, Shannon Briggs. Briggs. Vitaly. Vitaly Klitschko. Oliver but McCall. But never really, boy, he fought all of them McCall. That's right. He, but see, I guess really, in all honesty, we all know who we can be and who we can be. He knew he couldn't beat me, so he avoided me. That's the real truth. The whole truth is nothing but the truth. truth. He didn't want to see me. Yeah, yeah. Because of his, now I'm going to show you something. I'm a little bigger than Oliver McCall. You see, the way all my Oliver McCall knocked him out, I did him, I did him the same way. Mm. So that's why he avoided And he knew, and he knows this. And if he um, were to tell you the truth, he would say, you know, I was, I was afraid of really, bro. Um, I really didn't want to fight him. By any means, he doesn't say. You had, you had a lot more tools than Oliver McCall. Like, Oliver McCall didn't have, you had a better jab than him. You know, you had better the inside uppercut, fighting, better up, inside uppercut fight. was key. I was a completely different fighter than Oliver McCall. So McCall knocked him out, who you would say is less than I am. You see why they, you see why now he didn't want to fight. Mm -hmm. He know it, and he can say a million things, but he know he don't want to see me, period. You couldn't melt him and pour me on me. You couldn't melt him and pour him on me. He ain't he, he, he ain't want nothing. He would rather go to the jungle and stick straw on the wild lion's ass <laughs> the king of the movement. In the fibrotic bow. In the fibrotic bow. How about that? Yeah. Mom. Um, before I pulled out the camera, you were talking about the whole trash can thing. W the belt with the belt. Could you, could you explain that? Could you say it? Again? I know you said, you said it already, but could you say it again? Because I, I have a camera right here. Okay, hold on before you record that. Do you want to record that? Really? Well, if you don't want to, if you don't want to. No, no. Well, well, what are you talking about? He talking about he wants you to talk about throwing the belt in the garbage bin. Oh, yeah. I ain't got no problem with that. Well, I'm saying, do you have a problem with it? I have If you do, you do, I'll turn it off. You can record it. Okay. 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 Here's the deal. The WBC gave me ultimate <clears throat> in the fight Leonard Gold at a certain time or well, I would be stripped of the title. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing with my my manager at the time said, No Bo, what you need to do is take that belt and throw it in the garbage. So he had to set up the garbage and whatnot for me to put the belt in the garbage. And so thinking that he knew best, that's exactly what I did. I regret doing it. But what people don't understand. It's been a, quite some time. But me and the WBC, we, we both made peace. I mean, we, we cool now. And then, uh, hopefully there's no hard feelings or whatever the case may be. We, we, we friends now. Okay. So life moves on. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's it. That's all. That's it. Video, please check out TSS Sports. Please sub to his YouTube channel. He has dope content, dope videos, talks about boxing, NBA, NFL.